Yeah, I'm, I'm Corey Thompson. I'm a product expert here at Ancestral Supplements. So what is the Ancestral game? That's a really good question. You know, um, we're a little bit different around here. And one of the things that we really try to do at Ancestral Supplements is we try to live our lives like our ancient ancestors did the best way that we can in the modern world. We try to take that and put that into what we do on an everyday basis, and part of that is, is working out. It's exercise. It's what, what most people would call working out. We also like to compete. Are you, you're doing it, right? I'm doing it, yeah. Are you, uh, are you ready? Are you prepared? Oh, what? very confident, yeah. yeah. I've been training a long time for this. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're calling the victory. I, yeah, certainly. Very confident. Right. What y'all uh, what y'all doing right now, Mike? Uh, we're loading up all the weighted implements for ancestral games, and we're just gonna sprinkle them around the course. Are you doing it today? Hell yeah. All right. You ready for that water? Oh yeah. I think is it chilly yet? That water? I don't it's, think it'll be too bad. No? It's like lukewarm. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, that ain't bad. That'll be uh, probably refreshing then. Yep. All right. Let's sink it down. I'll say it again. Yeah, go ahead. The name's Streaks. Michael Ruyan interview. Right. Pull, pull it to where both can. Right, oh. right there, right there. That's good. Michael Ruyan interview. Take one. Wow. That's good, right? That, that was better than Garrett. I think you've got a job, buddy. Welcome <laughs> Hey, guys. My name is River Universe. My name's Kevin. James Rutledge. Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, I pictured in my mind a warrior. So I pictured the challenges that, uh, that the warrior would have faced along that way had to run from one thing to the other. You're chasing your prey, you're aiming, you're shooting, you're missing, you're, you're traversing rivers, you're crossing water. And at the very end, the very last obstacle was a sandbag carry, and so that's the success of the hunt. So you pick that thing up, you carry it back to the tribe before another apex predator could, could chase you down to get it. On the, on the archery, I was okay. I hit the target both times. It wasn't a bullseye or even close to a bullseye. Going from working out and running to the archery, you know, your adrenaline's going, trying to knock the arrow, and still maintaining, you know, good accuracy through all of that. So the archery, I hit the target on the first, on the first one, which is nice. I didn't have to do any of the, any of the burpees. It's something totally different than what, what I train and how I try to train or what I try to get better at. So I thought that was really interesting. It was my favorite part. It was cool. <laughs> it was luck. Okay, I'm Brian Johnson. I'm the Liver King. Uh, I'm the owner of Ancestral Supplements. Well, Ancestral Supplements is really a tribe, and I don't use that word lightly, it's a, it's a family. And so we come together around common principles, and those principles are uh, putting back in what the modern world has left out. Yeah, you know, my kids were sick. My kids were just some sick kids growing up. We took them to tons of doctors. Every doctor said the same thing. It was another EpiPen, more Benadryl. 
They were in and out of the hospital for anaphylactic shock. They couldn't breathe, took amb ambulances there. So we learned about this ancestral living thing and they got healthy. So when we learned this work for our kids, you know, it really became an obligation and responsibility to really bring this message to the rest of the world. So we do that by uh, selling a supplement that's not really a supplement. So our supplements are desiccated organs from grass-fed and finished beef. It's a whole food kind of product. You know, you don't realize how many other people are, are struggling and suffering, and there's a, a simple, elegant, natural solution that's gonna help probably 90% of people out there. And what we have here as a company is, is a family, a tribe, that's all doing that uh, together, so. I think the coolest part was that we couldn't really prepare, and I think it would be better if we didn't prepare, because it's more like, hey, this is the hunt, this is, what we have to do day to day, there could be obstacles that we don't know or have never done or approached before, so I think the less preparation the more exciting it is for me. Water is probably what I was looking forward to the most, just hopping in and changing things up a little bit. The, I mean the water was refreshing, right when you came in, it, it was earlier on in the course, it's uh, uh, you hit the water, the adrenaline's going. If it was cold or anything, you don't really feel it. It's You hit the water, you're pretty much out of it. The only, I guess, minor inconvenience is that now you've got the rest of the course ahead of you and, and you're just, now you're just wet. tall and I figured I could get over it really quick. Uh, that was what I was most looking forward to and I was able to get over that. The hardest thing was definitely telling yourself that you can keep running. After you've done all these things that have totally taken everything out of you and, you know, telling yourself to keep going, it's almost over, you know, you're, you're almost there. And If there's another Ancestral Games, would, would you do it again? Would you want to participate again? Definitely.